It's the last bus coming through. Get on it. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Preach the word. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Well, look at look at what the doctrine is going to do. It's going to reprove and rebuke mm -hmm. before it exhorts. Yes. You see that? Mm -hmm. So your doctrine might need some rebuking. Your doctrine might need some reproof. And if you've got your doctrine straight, then maybe some exhortation. But a lot of people don't have their doctrine straight. They're all goofy. Mm -hmm. Can you tell I have an attitude already? Yes. It's starting to come on me. This is mainly for those who are playing around on the edge. Some of those people that have heard this message from me for even over a year mm -hmm. about worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and they're still just playing around with it. Mm -hmm. This is for you. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering. Say long suffering. Long suffering. So what about the all long suffering? Mm -hmm. This was written 2,000 years ago. You could have more long suffering if you had 2,000 years. Mm -hmm. But we don't have forever here at the station to wait for you to get on the bus mm -hmm. or to get on board. If you're going to be up at the counter then order already or get out of the line i have other things i could say but i chose not to say it. something about getting off the pot yeah. but i'm not going to say that <laughs> some say they enjoy hearing these messages from time to time it won't take you to where those words are supposed to take you if you don't do it do it already I've been changed by entering in the room of Holy Ghost worship and standing in this place as one who worships the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and speaking in agreement with his words I've been changed I've become a different person this is different mm -hmm. this is not what I used to do it's different and it's brought me into a different place as a different person are you here mm -hmm. I got news for you I'm only going to get more radical can you hear that yes. I'm only going to get more radical brother we thought you were radical enough <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet Acts chapter 3 verse 19 repent ye therefore and be converted repenting means turning from what you were doing you're gonna be turning to something and be converted converted means to be changed into something else when you turn from your old dead works that weren't doing anything and you're converted into something else you will be different that means I'm not the same as I was before repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord the Lord God the Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord not Jesus not the presence of Jesus not the presence of Jesus Jesus isn't here the presence of the Spirit Lord mm -hmm. who you should be worshiping and serving mm -hmm. and he shall send Jesus he shall send Jesus which was before preached unto you whom the heaven must receive and retain until the times of restitution of all things so Jesus isn't here 
until everything is restored mm -hmm. which God hath spoken by the mouth of his holy prophets since the world began yes. so somebody's got to fulfill all things somebody has to walk in the fullness of all things before Jesus the real Jesus can and shall return mm -hmm. am I making this up mm -hmm. I'm just reading verses repent ye therefore and be converted see now we talked about doctrine rebuking reproving and exhorting mm -hmm. in all long suffering and doctrine your doctrine should be that Jesus is still in heaven at the right hand of the Father and when we are done by the presence of the Lord with the presence of the Lord fulfilling all things spoken mm -hmm. say fulfilling, fulfilling. All, things spoken, all things spoken then Jesus will return it's pretty simple isn't it but you repent from your squirrely doctrine and you're converted you're changed you're transformed into something else someone that believes something different mm -hmm. by the presence of the Lord knowing him knowing him the presence of the Lord the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. oh well we know we don't talk like that in our church I know knowing him you only get more radical younger looking better looking healthier richer more like him say richer, richer. More, like him. more like him that's radical that's different you're being transformed you're being changed from one thing to another mm -hmm. this is different it's not a question of whether these things are available to you or not all things are yours it's a question of whether you're willing to be transformed to that degree or not mm -hmm. willing to be changed to that degree most people are not mm -hmm. you become different mm -hmm. you become transformed into something you weren't and therefore you're going to think differently speak differently act differently look differently walk differently talk differently all the things you transformed into all things spoken by the holy prophets since the world began that's what you're being changed into mm -hmm. you are fulfilling all things spoken say i'm fulfilling, I'm fulfilling. All, things all things spoken, spoken how you walk with God the Holy Ghost in this room of worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and speaking his words he says I provide them with everything to live by I am God mm -hmm. a new currency a new economy new education he's the teacher new protection new health care youth renewal all things he provides you with but i have to live it first and those who are with me begin living it first mm -hmm. i'm going here you can join me or not but some are not willing to be changed that much mm -hmm. they're okay with the old there's a hundred thousand born again believing churches who won't go here there's another hundred thousand spirit-filled churches who won't go here frankly I'm disgusted with all that in light of what we know of the Holy Ghost it literally grosses me out and some of you want to go on and start another church just like them this is not the day for that this is the day for embracing the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today wrapping up all things spoken the Holy Ghost comes from perfection but you must know him to know what that even means mm -hmm. perfection do you know that's what we're going on to mm -hmm. and believe me it's not even close to what you think it is 
this is different it's either hot or cold and people that just want to stick their toe in and yet do all the things they were doing before not be changed to the next level they're supposed to go to and live there and be changed and live there and be changed some more that's lukewarm your lukewarmness makes me want to puke I've been given specific words to use I was told use these words I worship you Holy Ghost I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision I began using the words use them I did and I used them and I said them and I said them and I used them and I preached them and I used them and it transformed me it changed me it changed me into something that I was not before the fashion of my countenance was changed I think differently everything is different now I hope you can hear it worshiping the Holy Ghost as God has completely changed me and everything is different now and I shall be changed even more you can't even know the next level until you go to this one first mm -hmm. John 16 12 says I have many things to say to you but you can't bear them now but when he comes you'll be able to bear another level and that doesn't end there when he comes he'll begin to transform you so you can bear one level after another level after another level mm -hmm. you can't bear them now at your present level worship the Holy Ghost as God if you haven't been doing it start immediately there is another level that you aren't on yet can you hear that mm -hmm. there is another level that you're not on yet and you can't see from the perspective of that place until you get there mm -hmm. if you don't worship the Holy Ghost as God enough by using the words I worship you Holy Ghost you won't see what I'm even talking about it's from the perspective of a different level that's why I say so often I say I'm preaching from this place there is another level you aren't on yet and that's the very beginning of your transformation you understand we're called to go from glory to glory right say glory to glory to glory, 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 glory. how many glories did I say three, three. Do you, how many do you suppose there are many. <laughs> many if I start talking about the third glory you're gonna be huh well, I don't know what you're talking about do you understand so you've got to go through that door of worshiping the Holy Ghost and let him begin to transform you so that you can understand it so that you can see it I have many things to say to you but you can't bear it there right mm -hmm. we're changed from one thing to another thing and then we can go to the next thing Matthew chapter 17 verse 1 and after six days Jesus takes Peter James and John his brother and brings them up say brings them up. brings them up he brings them up into a high mountain apart what does apart mean not with everybody else and was transfigured before them meaning he was changed and his face did shine as the sun and his raiment was white as the light and behold there appeared unto them Moses and Elijah talking with him is this pretty dramatic yes he was transfigured before them Luke 9 29 uses the words the fashion of his countenance was changed he looked different mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in that place can you see there's more changing to take place I shall be changed more say I shall be changed, I shall be changed more. more you see there's a shallow end to worshiping the Holy Ghost 
just tacking a little bit of worshiping the Holy Ghost on to the end of whatever else you did it does nothing just like most of all the other stuff you're doing adding a little bit to the end of your old brand warning real worship of the Holy Ghost will eat your lunch your whole lunch this fish will eat all of the other fish in the pond people playing around in the shallow will never get to where they need to be they will never get to only say they will never get, they will never get to, only. to only Luke 4 8 says thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only mm -hmm. shalt thou serve if they don't worship the Holy Ghost enough they will never get to only you worship the Lord your God and him only serve mm -hmm. if you don't do the worship part you don't get to the and only mm -hmm. part where should we be the and only part where must we be the and only part only is big only in the only do we fulfill all things and until we fulfill all things there's no Jesus returning mm -hmm. this fish will eat all the other fish in the pond yes first in your pond I hope you can hear this do you, do you know what I'm talking about worshiping the Holy Ghost as God will eat all the other fish in your pond your pond first but also the entire pond of the body of Christ if not no Jesus returning if not we go around the wilderness one more time well I'm not going around with you anymore let's go around one more time no get on the only bus Holy Ghost only Holy Ghost is the only God in the earth today say it with me the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. is the only, the only God in the earth today get on the only bus it's the last stop it's the last bus coming through mm -hmm. it's the last bus coming through get on it do you understand that language yeah. if you want to get somewhere and this is the last bus coming through you better get on the bus yeah. it's just you and the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today say only, only. it's just you and the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today say only, only. Jesus isn't here Jesus isn't here stop saying that he is it's just you and the Holy Ghost as God near today fulfilling scripture and then Jesus returns this is the last bus get on it stop trying to jump off at every stop it's not stopping anymore no. Jesus the real Jesus say the real Jesus. the real Jesus is it okay if I talk about the real Jesus mm -hmm. The real Jesus is still in his flesh and bone body it's one of the biggest sacrifices he made when he came into the earth he entered a body say he entered a body, he entered a body. what kind of body what kind of body you have same kind of body right yes. that's the only way he could pay the price for you mm -hmm. he's still in that physical body to this very day it's one of the greatest sacrifices he gave up his omnipresence to enter a body so he could be the firstborn among many brethren Jesus is still in his physical body go to Acts chapter 1 verse 9 when he Jesus had spoken these things while they beheld he Jesus right Jesus was standing there in his physical body and when he had spoken these things while they beheld he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel which also said you men of Galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven 
this same Jesus this same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner shall so come in like manner mm -hmm. shall so come same Jesus in like manner as you have seen him go up into heaven are you here mm -hmm. what Jesus is going to come back mm -hmm. same Jesus the same man the same one who paid for your sins and rose from the dead mm -hmm. rose up from the earth same Jesus no different Jesus no, no religiously weird concocted Jesus mm -hmm. one of the greatest sacrifices he made was to enter into a body for all eternity you don't think he's still in his physical body and you don't know the scriptures Jesus is not the Holy Ghost Jesus never turned into the Holy Ghost he sent another John chapter 16 7 he said it is expedient for you that I go away and we just read where he did he went away mm -hmm. if he does not go away he can't send another he didn't say I'm gonna go away and send myself I will go away and then I will send myself in the form of the Holy Ghost that's goofy he didn't do it it's just you and the Holy Ghost only in the earth and then Jesus returns after we fulfill all things yes. get it straight mm -hmm. you don't want to worship him I told you that for this is for people who have just been playing around with it putting their their toe in the water and they need to be rebuked and exhorted to keep going on get in 2nd Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit is Lord or where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord what Lord the Lord who is that spirit who are we beholding and what and whose glory is it it's the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost's glory that we are beholding mm -hmm. say are changed. are changed are changed into the same image that we see of him from one glory to the next glory mm -hmm. even is by the Spirit Lord or the Lord who is that Spirit who are we changed by the Spirit Lord the Spirit Lord the Holy Ghost only mm -hmm. we are transformed by beholding him as the Spirit Lord say I'm transformed, I'm transformed. As, I him, as I behold him as the Spirit Lord how many are willing to be changed and how much are you willing to be changed it's the crux of the message here how much are you willing to be changed how much are you willing to behold him the Holy Ghost as the Spirit Lord can you hear that how much are you willing to behold him as the Spirit Lord most of the church they go la, 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 la. I don't want to hear it I don't want to behold him as the Spirit Lord who do they want to behold as the Spirit Lord Jesus. Jesus that's why I had to rant a little bit there again on the fact that Jesus is not here Jesus is not going to return until you fulfill what you're called to fulfill by beholding him the Holy Ghost as the Spirit Lord yes. Jesus is not going to return until you fulfill what you're called to fulfill by beholding him the Holy Ghost as the Spirit Lord yes. no other way for you to be changed from one glory to another glory no. scripturally most of the church though they don't want to be changed they don't want to hear it but if you do here's the exhortation if you do begin worshiping him as the Spirit Lord you will be changed your doctrine will change your theology will change and your thinking will be completely different than what it is right now I guarantee you but if not 
I know you're not going on and at some point I will be leaving you behind but that's okay it's where you've chosen to be it's where you wanted to be tribulate all you want and eventually die and go to heaven as you will is this funny who preaches like this <laughs> but don't pretend that you're running with me in this race we are taking it all we are walking with the living God the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today fulfilling scripture fulfilling all things spoken somebody has to do it mm -hmm. people say well who do you think you are who do you think you are reminds me of Joseph remember Joseph mm -hmm. as his dad gave him that that crazy coat that he used to wear and it irritated everybody they were jealous of him remember what he said they asked him who do you think you are and he said well I see myself of over everybody and everybody else bowing down to me <laughs> didn't he say that mm -hmm. who do you think you are I will be changed into that say I will be changed, will be changed. Into, that. into that I may not be there now but as I leave you behind and go on to the next level of glory you can just sit there and worry about it sadly not everyone recognizes the time of their visitation Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people and calling them higher that those things are beginning to fall off that have held them behind and yay they are rising up being raised up to a new level of glory one they've never seen before and they will say I've never seen it like this before I never knew that life could be this good I can't wait for the next level of glory and as you begin to rise bring those with you that you can and if they're not coming just let them go we thank you Holy Ghost for the grace that is on these people as they've heard these words and showing them the new way to go we worship you in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost you're the living God you richly provide me with all things to enjoy I worship you and I thank you for it in Jesus name amen in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today